At GFC 262, Michael Chandler lost to Charles Oliveira via TKO in the second round. In a recent Q&A on his Instagram Live, he broke down his loss and spoke on what he did wrong. I think I'm a better athlete than Charles Oliveira, but he beat me. You know, it, it, this, is, this sport is... This sport is merciless, this sport is unforgiving, and this sport can turn on you in a, on a dime. I beat Charles Oliveira round one, 10-8, on two different judges' scorecards. Second round, I get caught, lose the fight, you know? So it's just a, it's just a, crazy, uh, it's a crazy sport that we love, and this is why we watch. This is why we buy the pay-per-views. This is why you guys are on here listening to me ramble on. So, good question. How tight was the guillotine? Why stay on the ground? Um, the guillotine was not tight. Um, so I, I kind of explained this this morning. So I'm not, I didn't train going for guillotines. I didn't believe I was going to catch Charles Oliveira in a guillotine. Or if I did, it would have been later in the rounds and, and it would have, you know, just happened naturally. This was more of a, I came forward with a, I think it was a, a one, two step over hook. I was coming forward. He lowered his level, took a shot. My instinct said I, I was out of position to be able to turn my hips, hit him with my height. Um, I didn't quite get, I didn't quite get the, the depth on the guillotine that I wanted and I didn't get the hit a lot. I've never been choked. I don't get choked in training. Um, Charles Oliveira is probably the best, he is 100% the best grappler in the lightweight division, possibly one of the best grapplers in the entire, on the entire planet. Um, but I still felt confident and as you guys saw, I got the one on one. He had a body triangle and I still was able to spin around, reverse the, reverse the position. It's kind of my position. It works well for me. Um, obviously, you heard Joe Rogan. You heard Daniel Cormier saying this is a horrible position for Chandler. This is not where you want to be. Um, yada, yada, yada. I get that for sure. Um, but it's a position that I usually reserve, reverse and that's what happened. So, <clears throat> um, how did it feel to be in the moment? It's a good question because it's very broad, but it felt great. That was the thing about this, this whole experience and why I got a loss on my record, but I don't feel like it was a loss. You know, I fought for the world title, big, big stakes. The pressure didn't get to me. I felt like I was right where I was supposed to be. I was pumped up. I was amped up. I was joyful. I was happy. I was smiling. I was right where I needed to be, right where I wanted to be. And uh, so the moment... The massiveness of the moment was was amazing to take it all in. The lights coming down, blackout treatment, the lights around the octagon, Bruce Buffer um, announcing us. And then in the fight, I felt great. In the fight, I felt like I was flowing. In the fight, I felt like it was it was materializing, and uh, and it was working out well. Won the first round, and then you know second round happened how it happened. So it felt great to be in the moment. It felt great to be in the world title fight. Um, <clears throat> my next my next. Uh, World title fight, when I do win the world title, um, I'll be that much more prepared for it, so I'm excited about it. Michael Bisping in a recent interview with Kevin Ioli gives his thoughts on the rematch between Israel Adesanya versus Marvin Vittori. A guy asked a question, said, uh, do you believe Vittori will beat Adesanya to win the championship? Uh, I mean, that's hot. I mean, the first fight was pretty close. Split um, decision. Split decision. Uh, I think Vittori's got better. But I don't know. I, 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 it's hard to say. I mean, the last fight against uh, who did Vittorio? Oh, Kevin Holland. He used a very wrestling-heavy game plan, and you know, people have said that about Adesanya for a while. That's the way to beat him, to take him down. But other than Jan Blachowicz, nobody's been able to do that. Now, Vittorio was able to take Kevin Holland down, but I think Adesanya is going to have much better takedown defense. And I think Adesanya, you've got to give the man his credit. Listen, I, I like Marvin Vittori. I like his intensity. He's got a lot of power. He's on a great roll. You know, he's got a lot of momentum. I think it'll be a good fight. But uh, I, I, I don't want to offend either man at this stage. But uh, you've got to lean towards the champ. Adesanya is one of the best to do, do it you by. think that Marvin might be too intense? Like, you know, he's so, it's almost like he's all the time, right? That, you know, that he doesn't relax. Do you think that, that against somebody, a counter striker like Adesanya, that could work against him? Absolutely. That's a great point, Kevin. That was one of my things that was holding me back because I always push myself physically in the gym. You know, I, I always got in good condition, all the rest of it. 
And I used to think that if I got as aggressive as possible, then I would go out there and that's how I would beat my opponents. But it wasn't until I started working with Jason Perillo, who'd been around the fight game for a long time, obviously with the boxing background. You know, he was like, Mike, that's the wrong approach. You know, I was always too emotional. He's like, you want to be cool, calm, collected. Right. If you're fighting the best people in the world, okay, maybe 90% you beat them with that approach. But the true elite, you know, you, you, you've got to, you know, if you're going in there with somebody like Anderson Silva or whatever, you've got to be cool, calm and collected. You've got to be in the moment. You can't be reacting on anger. You know, if you're in a frantic state of mind, you're never the best version of yourself, certainly in a fighting environment, which sounds weird for those people that don't know, but the calmer you are, like I just give a quick example and blow smoke up my own ass, as I always do. Uh, but when I fought Luke Rockhold the second time for the belt, I was under immense pressure but I was in there, I was I was in the ring, uh, the octagon and I was cracking jokes with Perillo and when we squared up he wouldn't touch gloves and I said oh no touch, I'll touch you in a second mother. But that just shows my state of mind that I was calm and I, yeah. I, was, I was making quips, you, you know what I'm saying? And that's the best way to be so to answer your question in a long form way, yeah absolutely I think it works for him but you've got to find that right balance. I stretch my hands to me. Come rescue me. I need you right away. I need you now. You're out here at Muddy Bottoms. I'm loading all the bikes. I guess we're at a Muddy Bottom Mud Park. Get ready to play on all these uh, toys, me and Ken Block and uh, Dustin Jones about to tear this Louisiana swamp up, should be a good day. Ray Longo in a recent interview with John Anik gave you thoughts on Yuri Prochaska's win over Dominic Reyes. So uh, what did you think of uh, Yuri Prochaska? Were you back in your hotel room? When he oh yeah, we watched, yeah, 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 crazy. I mean, uh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I like, uh, I like the fact, I mean, there's a lot to like. First of all, he seems like a great guy, uh, huge. And I'm, let, listen, let's give it up to Dominic Reyes, man. He hit him with everything but the kitchen sink, John. Dude, I'm dude. gonna tell you, to me, what won that fight, a, a part, or like a big part, is Yuri's chin. I mean, but that guy has a chin of gray. It looked like he wasn't even touched. And Dominic Reyes was unloading on him. I definitely hit him with his best shots. That's the scary part. This guy kept coming forward. Uh, again, I think his mindset is another guy just having a great time in there. And when you, it's almost like being in a car crash, right? When you're drunk, right? If you're drunk, you just bounce around. Everything's good. It's not that bad. You know, you, you could survive some some stuff. If you're tensing up like that, no good, right? So I think right. that's what you're seeing with some of these guys. The guys that really enjoy being there, it it, it there's a there's a factor that it it really it really helps. I mean, he got hit with big shots. And I'm sure he had to be kind of hurt, but he did not show it. And he kept going forward. He's got weird angles. Uh, you know, he's got good experience. Uh, he's, 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 uh, uh, and he's huge. He's a big dude, man. He's a big kid.